Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Renegade Morning Show. Renegades are known for surviving three things, and that is evacuations. Congrats, everyone. But on the bright side, sports are what we can count on. Wrestling is currently NJSIA South Group champions and competing in playoffs very soon. Girls basketball is also number two seed with a chance at number one seed with star player Nia Scott and Avery Kessler scoring 1,000 points in their time here at Shawnee. Congratulations, everyone. We are now in semester two and we all deserve a day long nap and free coffee after all the hard work. Highlights of this year have been homecoming, Friday night football, and obviously the Shawnee car line. Seniors are ready to leave as well with every grade in the building, but looking forward to volleyball tournament, spring sports, JDD, prom, Disney, and best of all, the last day of school. Everyone is wearing green today, or at least they better be. Student council is preparing all of our names and hearts to celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm not Jimmy Fallon or James Corden, but I'm Hannah Short, and I just brought you Shawnee High School's first monologue. And now, welcome to the stage, world-renowned celebrity and musician, Michael Dowd. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Michael, I heard you were at the Grammys on Sunday. How were they? Well, you know, I was just chilling with my homies, Taylor Swift, Lizzo, Harry Styles, you know, the gang. Wow, it seems like there were some really big guys there. What was it like to be in that atmosphere? Well, you know, just being next to Taylor Swift, I was awestruck because she is such a queen. And then seeing her dance with her ex-boyfriend was just legendary. Gives hope to everyone who can't get over their ex. <laughs> and I'm um, a big 1989 fan. Well, you know, Taylor Swift does inspire us all. But moving on, I was disappointed you didn't get an award this year. Ac actually, I did win something. I won the award whoa, for whoa, Best whoa, Celebrity. Wait a second. What? That's not a Grammy. That's an LDTV award, and it's my LDTV award. Thank you no, very no. much. This is you can my... keep it, but I would like it back to clean and perfect it, you know. It's mine. This Thank you very name. much. Well, we appreciate you coming on today and informing us about the Grammys, but let's take a quick break for Cool Facts with Zach Bratz. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the moment you've all been waiting for all week. The Super Bowl Spectacular. Spectacular. Anyways, we've got a handful of facts to get to, so let's get to it. Football is a sport played in America in which two teams try to get as much touchdowns as they can. Football is widely considered the most popular sport in America. That's just scratching the surface. But I'm pretty sure y'all know what football is. So now I'll give facts about our very own Philadelphia Eagles. Like how the Eagles was the very first televised NFL game. They played against the Brooklyn Football Dodgers, a football team that no longer exists. Unfortunately for that game, we lost. But at least we're still a football team. <laughs> it's also unique that John F. Kennedy, one of the presidents of the United States, considered buying the franchise. Unfortunately, that offer wasn't taken, but how cool that the Eagles was one of the first options of a football team that a president would consider buying. And with that, our Super Bowl Spectacular has come to a conclusion. Thank you all for watching, and let's all root for the Eagles. Woo! So, busiest time of the year here, Johnny. Rose. Super Bowl this Sunday, we actually have a formal Eagles player on set. Well, actually, uh, you got that wrong. Like a couple things about me. I'm a current player. Uh, I'm actually, actually from Delco. Uh, a lot of people don't know about me. I'm from Delaware County. Uh, go Birds. Hunt, go Birds. Uh, okay, okay, all right. Well, let's, let's hear a little bit about your time with the Eagles. Well, you see, I'm a Chad among men. Men want me and women want to be me. Wait. Well, then why are you not in Arizona? Uh, well, you see, uh, I'm too good. Like, my contract uh, might have run up, like, when I was born, hmm. so. I don't know if that's it, but how are you celebrating the game this weekend? Well, I was going to harass Chiefs fans at Shawnee, and afterwards I was going to be the voluptuous snack that I am. Shout out to my homie, Jalen Hurts. See you Sunday. Hmm. Hmm. Well, good to know. I'm definitely rooting and have confidence that the right team will win, a.k.a. the Eagles. And we also want to congrats our Shawnee teams who are all making it to playoffs this season. But 
Thank you so much, Nick, for joining us this oh, morning. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thank yeah, you, yeah. thank you. All right, well, the snowball dance is tonight, and Miss Gerber and Miss Lamo are here to talk about it on set. So let's welcome them to the stage this morning. Hello, Miss Gerber, and hello, Miss Lamo. Go ahead and tell us Hi. a little bit about what's happening this tonight at yeah, the school. Tonight, we are so excited to host our first annual snowball uh, for the freshmen and sophomores. So we are going to ask that you arrive by 8 p.m. and you cannot leave before 9:30 p.m. Uh, you are going to enter the cafeteria on the doors closest to the gym rather than the doors closest to the uh, main office. So we look forward to seeing you. Yeah, uh, good morning. Uh, in addition to his, uh, what uh, Ms. Garber just said, we ask that you bring your school ID with you tonight uh, for check-in. And if you are wearing shoes that you might be uncomfortable after dancing, uh, if you want to bring a change uh, shoes uh, because we ask that you keep them on all night. But other than that, we're looking forward to tonight and having a good time. That is awesome. I wish I was a sophomore so I could go again, but it sounds like everyone's going to have a blast. So thank, thank you, Ms. Gerber and Ms. Lamo. Have fun you. tonight. All right, we're going to take a quick break with Nick Capella, who's hitting the halls and asking some questions to our renegades. So, Rizziest time of the year here, Chani, Riz me. Roses are red, violets are blue. I think you're cute. How about you? Hey, the way you make me feel, you make me feel so special inside. You got Riz? No, I do not. All right, that's, that's pretty good. I heard, I heard from a friend of a friend of a friend that you said you got Riz. Do you have Riz? No. That, he's lying. He's trying to be subtle here. <laughs> Give me a second. No, I have no Riz. No, you gotta have some Riz, bro. I, I, I even have some Riz. <laughs> what don't you know? There's so much I can teach you. All right, teach me. You teach me. Here. here. Uh, no, no. no. How, the, can no. you show me your Riz? I don't have one. Give me a second. Are you from Tennessee? <laughs> nah, bro. You gotta, look at that. You, gotta, you gotta get the hand going. Okay, okay. You're the Rizzly Bear. Nah, nah, nah. Ooh, oh, okay, physical contact, that's pretty Riz. Okay, I'm taking this back, <laughs> thank you. How's it going? Whoa! Guys, do you guys have any Riz ideas for me? Because he's asking if I, you know, Riz. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only 10 I see. Ah. You're starting to doubt if you have Riz? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's, that's pretty Rizful. <laughs> <laughs> bite your lip, bite your lip, bite your lip. Yeah, buddy. Did you fall from the refrigerator because you're a snack? Dang, all right, that, I haven't heard that one. That's good, that's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you, appreciate it, appreciate it. Good man. Well, I have one last announcement for us. We are inviting all Eagles fans to the auditorium at Lunch and Learn today for a huge pep rally. I will definitely be there. But, well, that's all for today. But tune in every Monday through Thursday for the Shawnee Wake Up and every Friday for the Renegade Morning Show. I'm your host, Hannah Short. Have a great weekend, Shawnee. Go, Go Birds! Birds!